and we are back from break so you guys have um oh actually you're still with the benton sisters so they're going to lock down the hospital they've got some reinforcements coming uh what's the plan so you have the two templars that have vanished without a trace but you do have um sorry i may have said that wrong the two templars have vanished without a trace but you have the vampire who as far as you know is still on foot If anyone's trying to talk, I can't hear you. Sorry, one second. I guess well, we could ask them for assistance in tracking him down. They're going to stay with their brother. Especially after there's already been one attempt on his life, they're not going anywhere. anywhere. Well, also, uh, on the subject of tracking and finding this vampire's trail, mm -hmm. Luca has already smelled his blood. He does yes. know what it smells like. Mm -hmm. So, you could always try that. All right, so all in agreement, you guys are going to start tracking this vampire, yeah? I'm pretty sure I need to shoot another build in him, so yeah, let's do that. All right, he definitely does not want to be found, so it's going to be an opposed check. It's going to be... Um, but he's not doing so hot, so I'm going to say it's one red two purples, but I will upgrade that check. So two reds, two perps. Alright. Well, we'll probably flip back. And, uh... I don't know. Can anyone help with survival at all? Or just and with anything? Anyone have anything to add? I could get uh, a boot. Sean is, um... was, like, a long time hunter before he became what he is now. So maybe just like experience and tracking uh, supernatural creatures just for a boost. And also too guys, uh, don't forget that you do have your four motivations and so if you think that one of your motivations can be called into play for something, uh, I can give a boost here and there as well for those depending on how it's RP. Uh, if we were hunting the twins, then I would definitely use my desire. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but but I can use I can use my strength for determined. You know, like uh, he he's he's doggedly. Uh, if that's what the mission is to find the vampire, he's gonna like aim straight for that. So he'll put all his energy towards it. I guess. He stares very intently at Luca. You can do this. Okay. So, <laughs> between that and. Uh... And knowing what this guy's blood smells like already. I give you pretty... two boosts total. Okay. Yep. All right. And plus the assistance. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Mm. I know exactly what happens. Um, I'll give you an idea. Here's something. You can go with something else, but with so you don't catch the track of the vampire, you do find Brutus's tracks or trail again. Like, Ooh. you can home right in on good. Brutus. Yeah, that could be helpful. Because right. he probably knows much better, you know, how to find all these people. All right, so. He doesn't look too good. He's barking at you guys. He recognizes you guys, but he's really wary. Maybe you can also smell like the vampire on you. He's nervous, so he's kind of shined away. It looks like he's about to run away. Hmm. Well, Luca will just approach him calmly. He'll like do the thing again where he, he'll take something from his bag or maybe even. Well, I, I did say earlier that he stopped for some street food on his way to the hospital. So maybe That's he has right. like a, a spare hot dog in his pocket or something. Sure. Yeah. So I'll just kind of like offer it forward, get down, you know, low to the ground and give right. a little bit of encouragement. Two boosts, not counting anything else you guys do. Okay. Uh, it's and a one, red, it be one purple check. Okay. Would this be survival, like animal yes. handling? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Sorry, what did you say the difficulty was? Two? Uh, one red, one purple. Okay. Yeah, right. and you guys have plenty of um, story points, by the way. Yep. I don't know if we... Do we want to use one for this? Yeah, it, it would neutral neutralize it, right? So we need our tracker to be consistent. Mm. Love me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so Brutus comes over. He's he's convinced it's okay. Oh, who's a good boy? He looks pretty messed up, though. Man, that vampire did a number to him. You can see the claw marks. Give you a little heal. All right, cool. How much was that? Uh, it's four wounds. Four wounds, okay. Cool. Um, actually, and you have control over him now, so he is yours. Oh. <clears throat> so yeah, you've got a bloodhound now. How do you get so, him to... Uh, yeah. So which ones do we want to find? Do we want to find the vampire primarily? He seems like maybe more of a of an active threat. Yeah, I feel like and he's also trackable where someone who has teleported seems far less trackable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even know if the Templars are even here anymore. They could have teleported all the way back to London. That's very true. All right. So do we have anything with a vampire's blood on it? You guys. Uh, <laughs> Jack. It's probably some of me. He can sniff the bite mark, maybe. Yeah. I didn't smell you. <laughs> He'll show us what he is. This is only the second awkwardest thing I've done with a dog. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'll just I'll just say narrative. I mean, it's a bloodhound, so it's got the scent. It already also, recognizes the. Oh, such right. a good. Also, boy. a lot of punctures too. Yeah. You were saying, Ben? What? He's also such a good boy. He is exactly so. Um, he is on the trail, so uh, he is taking you on a pretty long path. It looks like um, the vampire is heading straight north. Uh, you actually pass by Camden again. It's starting to get dark, and you reach Camden Hills State Park. All right, I'm going to need a survival check. Uh, I can also... Perception will work, too, in this case. Oh, boy, I will give my you favorite. both of those. One each. Does um, Brutus right. have ranks in either of those that would be helpful? Um, sure, I'll say that he gives you unskilled assistance equivalent to two boosts instead of one. Oh, that makes sense. So I guess I'll do the... Check with Brutus, and I don't, know, I don't know anyone else who wants to help. Um, and then we can have a look perception. I could do perception. Okay. I'm sorry. What was the difficulty again? Uh, so this is actually going to be a hard check, um, but not a post. Okay. Both. <clears throat> it's hard for both? Yes. Let's let's do it. We'll just pretend those those cat noises in the background are Brutus instead. Does Jack has heightened awareness? Yes. That's true. Okay. And that's two blue, right? Yeah, we can assume that he's engaged with you. You guys are really trying to make this count, so. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, cool. So the results. First, we'll do the survival one. So you definitely catch the trail. And um, it's clear that the vampire is making a beeline just to, like, go through the forest. But... The, it stops. You see where it doubles back. You see him try to go north again, 
So there are multiple times that he's trying to go back. Uh, the perception check, you actually see claw marks on trees, like the vampire's bracing himself, trying to go forward, and he can't. Something is keeping him here. He cannot go past a certain line in the trees. It's just not happening. And then you see that he gives up, and he starts going back south again, and you've got the trail. But before you follow that trail, what do you guys make of these two findings? Uh, I want to pop my second sight on to see if there's a magical barrier or um, some kind of like ward. Okay. It'll be an average check. Oh my gosh, I hate when my cat gets like this. Okay, so a success. Okay, so uh, no, there's no barrier. You don't see anything like that. There are no wards, there's no barrier, there's nothing of that sort. But for some reason, the vampire cannot go past. He can't he can't leave this area. Now, don't forget, you guys have had some other clues on stuff from um, earlier checks. I'm pretty sure I know what ha what's happening, but I don't think Luca was really in the room when the vampire and the, the ghost were talking. So. Oh, hmm. remember, you guys would share details. I mean, go ahead and RP some of the detail sharing there, and maybe you'll put two and two together. Okay, well, uh, it seems like maybe uh, names Gino and Chelsea mm -hmm. may have done something to keep him bound to a local area, maybe close to them. Mm, yes. Because he said something to you in the basement, didn't he, old man? Are you been cutting out here. I heard old, so I presume you're trying to say something to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the vampire said something something to you in the basement. And Luca was asking him what that was to remind him basically. Uh I don't remember. The ghost said something to you though, Gino did. Yeah, that we had to avenge him. And that Gino and Chelsea would keep him here. The chains? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the chains. That's right. And Took also saw a vision of chains at the uh, the side of um, where the vampire attacked them. Ah, oh, that's right. It may be that uh, whatever necromancy they were planning failed. And instead of uh, binding the ghosts to be subservient, they've just bound each other, and now the vampire can't escape them. <laughs> Also, too, remember you had, uh, and Jeremiah and Jack would have described it, uh, the vampire had a cross burned onto his face. So it is very likely the Templars are chasing this vampire. And now they have a vampire that cannot leave this local area. So with that, though, you guys have the trail. So um, anything more you guys want to do or any other skill checks before we move forward? Um, no. All right, so the trail takes you back south and you actually see signs of a struggle. And I mean, it's, it's a pretty big struggle. There, there's blood all over the place. And, um, yeah. Someone got roughed up, but it looks like the vampire was accosted, and uh, the trail continues. What do you guys do? <clears throat> I mean, obviously you guys are going to continue following, but I guess what I mean is that, like, what, um, right. what sort of RP is happening, or preparation? Can I maybe do a perception check to see if I can 
Yeah, by the way the blood is spilled to maybe reconstruct what happened. Sure. I'll make that a hard check. Uh, also another question, it's not listed here, but does heightened awareness also uh, count for yourself? It does not. Or is not. it just your allies? Alright, fair enough. It's kind of an odd talent, but... Uh, so it was uh, two purple ones, right? It's a hard check. Three purples. Oh, okay. Don't forget, you have plenty of light side to use. I think it's uh, five to one right now. Oh, there's a shortcut too, by the way. You can just do a UL instead of use light. I forgot to mark that down. Uh, and if I use that, then it just to be them? It, it means that you can upgrade the skill of your check. So you can add it uh, like it okay. has one more rank. All right, right. Uh, one second. God damn it. All right, so unfortunately... Hey, you also need to move one point over, if somebody can do that for me. The, um... <clears throat> yeah, you don't get you don't get much. You just know that there is a struggle. Anything else? <laughs> All right. So... <clears throat> The sun has um, started to set, and um, oh, that's right. We don't even have we don't have any vampires, vampire PCs. All right. Sun is set, and you get close to a um, warehouse. So you know, actually, I need to reset this board because there was an error before. So I'm going to do that right now. But I'll be right back. When I was testing this for whatever reason, every time I got to this point, I had to refresh before things would work beyond. Never experienced that before. Whoops, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Crap, I need to reset again. <laughs> All right, so yes, you have gone to um, a less tour, like by far less touristy area. It's an abandoned warehouse and you actually see two Templar guards out in front. You can tell by their insignias. Um, they're not, they're actually not trying to hide the fact, at least not here. In Cactus Torcus You can hear someone very clearly casting spells within the warehouse. Obviously you guys aren't like right in the middle of them, but um, uh, to gain access, you're going to have to get past these guys. One thing to think about, whatever you find inside the warehouse, if you guys don't take care of these guys, then you might have to take care of them later. So it's up to you, though, on how you want to get into the warehouse. But there's can rituals are being cast, like not simple spells. These are This is some powerful magic that is happening right now inside the warehouse. Is it possible to try to identify the nature of those spells? Sure, yeah. So these are going to be pretty esoteric, um, not stuff that is taught in everyday arcana school. So it's going to be a daunting check. Yeah, but, okay. Toss some assistance my way. Uh, I can help you out with that. It And I'll flip too if someone wants to. I can do it. I'm finished. Oh, was that one already used? Uh, nope, that was the old one. Now. Okay. Woo! Wow. Thanks. Okay. So you are. Now things are starting to click. You remember rumors of a spell called ghost binding and this is a spell that um, a vampire who creates a ghost can be tied to that ghost and bound to the same area that the ghost is uh, that would mean either the place where the ghost was created or the ghost's body however with that advantage i'll also add in 
um, body parts of a sufficient size that are kept um, can also be used as a focal point. And you guys do remember that Gino and Chelsea, both of their left hands were chopped off. No oh, like a hand. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it looks yeah, like so... the, uh, well, actually, you tell me, what are the conclusions that your characters are drawing from this information? Well, now we've kind of figured out what the hand deal was. It's not to thing. It's to vampire to wherever it happened. What's interesting is it seems like we're in a bit of a different area than where it happened. So I guess that makes sense for the body parts rather than the, you know, where the murder happened. Yeah. Uh, James, you're trying to fade in a little bit. Are you on the chat client or browser? Uh, the browser. Ah, oh, remember you're supposed to use the chat client for this. That's okay. Oh, hundred percent the same in every way, shape, and form. Are you sure though? Because people have told me that the like at least my voice quality has had trouble with the browser, but it's been okay today, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe just for next time, but um, you, you are fading out every now and then. So the it might be because part... I'm like realizing it. Um, yeah, so we figured out kind of what the deal of the hand is. This seems to be a, in many senses, beneficial, at least in the short term. And how about the rest of you guys? What, um, just RP wise, what's going on with your characters? Well, Luca would probably look a little bit frustrated by the conclude that uh, it seems like their only goal is to kill this vampire. It's likely that they went after uh, Joshua because they assumed he was bitten and was going to turn. But I think he stopped it in time. Maybe. Maybe for me, any of the spells they're using, the one right now, is it a legal spell or is there like a rule against that you can't use this particular one or something? <laughs> Oh, that's a good point. Um, as far as you can tell, there's nothing, um, there's no law against this particular spell, but the fact that, I mean, these Templars have, um, well, actually, hmm, it, it depends on, yeah, I can't say too much, just, it depends on the conclusions that your characters have um, come up with, but I, I don't want to add too much. The spell itself is fine, though. But also, the two, the Templars attacked you guys without provocation, and um, that, in and of itself, is not a good thing. Not yeah. Good at all. Um, uh, I'm going to make it disciplined. <laughs> okay. For what? Um, I feel like it would be pretty hard for... Um, Sean to keep his cool um, considering that now he's facing Templars that just attacked him and considering his history with them and stuff like that just to see if he's gonna I don't know not uh, go off the handle and stay planned I guess okay um now, do realize, though, that I will I will absolutely allow it, but if it's something that could actively hurt the team, then um, one or more of your teammates also have the opportunity to do something to prevent you from, like, blowing their cover. Or Do you see what I mean? No, absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to get the, the team messed up. Uh, it's more so, like, RP. Uh, yeah, oh, no, involved. absolutely. I, I like it. Just... You know, I don't want there to be any misunderstanding in terms of player agency, because if you no, have player agency, so do they. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say that... Um, oh, you passed your check, so yeah, what happens? <laughs> um, well, he passed, so he's gonna... I'll, I'll, it's more so the threats. So I think the threats will give him um, setbacks on... Um, further roles to um, I guess like uh, I don't know keep anyone to be honest 
I would just say it's it's really hard for you to not do that. That it would be very mentally straining. Like you just sure. Yeah. Okay, Especially with cool. four. I mean, that's like. I think that deserves uh, the the penalty that four strain gives. Which is what two strain? Oh no, it's all four. It's four strain. All four strain. Yeah. Okay. You can you can take one and make it a setback if you want. That's okay. All right. So, how are you guys going to get past these guys into the warehouse? Um, or are you just just going to try to preemptively take them out? It's up to you. Um, I could uh, create an illusion. They're wanting the vampire, right? Maybe I just make the vampire in the forest and make it run away, and they chase after it. Sounds like a good idea. All right, definitely sure. Right. Okay. Let me think about what this would actually entail. So, so I'd say first there would be the check to cast it, but they will get a roll to to see if they actually believe it. Okay. Um, and then to actually make it run away, it's going to need some range. Yeah. So I think basic magic, minor illusion. Because I'm just doing the image of the vampire and then having it run away a little bit of a distance so hard. Does that make sense, Tommy? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Okay. So, E, D. So, two yellow, two green. I will use uh, Destiny. Okay. Will you use a Destiny back or? Uh, what do we think? Uh, I mean, I think it's probably worth it. Okay. All right. So I if this is the coming. plan we're going with, I'd say it's probably worth it. <coughs> okay. So, a bit of a distance from where we are, I'm going to make an image of a vampire that comes out from the trees, um, in the vision of the Templars. And it like does a little bit of a shocked expression and then runs back into the into the trees. So let's see if I can actually make this happen. Yes, okay. it works. So um, they do I'm see that and mitigate one of the strain. Yeah. So <clears throat> they see the illusion and the so he, there's going to be a reason why. I'll just go ahead and tell you. They they think they know where the vampire is. Seeing the vampire where he's at is very confusing. And they're like, wait a minute, what the hell is going on? So roll a deception check versus um, just one red, one purple. Okay. And you can take a boost from the advantage on that. Okay. Red, one purple. I keep doing roll instead of the... Yeah. Same here. Nice. Woo. Okay. So, and with those three advantages, you can give me something different, but this is what I'm thinking. They see it. They're like, oh no. And they look at each other. How did he get past us? Shouldn't we tell the rat? No, no, no. Don't tell the rat. No, we need to get him back before. Shh. And so they actually run off after the illusion. Well done. Without alerting the people inside. And of course, it runs into the forest, but uh, after it reaches about medium range, I don't have any for it, so it's just the image has run, run, run away. So Yeah, so they're going to keep looking. I'm going to say, mm -hmm. with enough with those advantages, they're effectively gone. So nice. that, was, that was very well done. I like that. Uh, okay, so... As you peer through the window, or maybe there's just a hole in the wall. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty beat up place. You see, well, quite a lot, but I mean, I'll just move everything over. So the vampire has two ghosts that you can see ethereal chains chaining him to the ground. He cannot move anymore. 
and the Templars have surrounded him and he is struggling mightily and there are actually um, some secret war checks you can now make um, for their identities especially now that you see the situation something might be up so um, it's going to be one roll for the party for each of the three checks so you've got three checks but just one person um, to make them and these can be blended checks as well because you can just you know, kind of whisper to each other like wait a minute is that so and so oh my gosh what's going on so that sort of thing so just let me know yeah. who you're trying to identify first before you roll. I'll offer boosts to whoever's rolling for the Templars. Yeah, um, I assume no one has more than one rank in Secret War. Yes, but I think it'll be only you. All right, so I will give an extra boost because of your connection to the Templars. I'm going to start at the top middle. Okay. So the, the Templar at the top. Yep. Okay. Wow. So I will change his name. That is Leopold Gottlieb. And he is a very high ranking Templar. He is an avowed vampire hunter. And you know for a fact that he has been searching for one particular vampire for quite a long time. This is basically next his I'll mission in life. Try the woman next to him. Okay. And I'll even say this, with that advantage, you'll get a boost to the vampire's identity. But um, one thing you know is that you know of a very, like Leopold is um, a German uh, hunter who has before he joined the Templars, and he has been after a French vampire for quite some time. All right, so the woman next to him, and she's only 2D. You said I got an extra boost for my advantage too? Um, no, no, the boost is for the vampire specifically. Oh, sorry, okay. But you get a boost from, um, uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I had that. All right, that so. The woman. You know her as Fiona McNair, and she is Leopold's second in command, but you know that she hates vampires even more than he does. And you've heard disturbing rumors that um, quite a few people, innocent people, rumored, have fallen in pursuit of vampires because for her, the ends justify the means. Uh, there is one quote about the Templars that the Templars don't like, but uh, a lot of people feel that it is appropriate, and that is, beware the Templars, for whole villages will burn in their pursuit of the wicked. Mm, yeah. And All right, and the then... Vampire. You get a the vampire for him. Yeah. Whew. Whoa, you're just killing it today. Yeah. Dang, okay. So you know him, I'll put it down, as Alphonse Lacroix. And he is a French vampire who is actually related to the Lacroix family of New Orleans. Distantly related. Distantly. But uh, yeah, he is a very powerful vampire who was also once a hunter before he was turned. And with those advantages, you know that his maker's name is a vampire known as Isabel, another French vampire. And Leopold, from what you know, uh, Leopold slew Alphonse's maker. Mm. So at this, <clears throat> give me one moment here, to run over to my notes. So, Alphonse, you actually see him. He is crying tears of blood, and he is saying, I swear it. I swear it, Leopold. Isabel lives. She has been reborn. Your mistake has been overturned. And Leopold looks shaken by this. He says, liar! That's impossible! Vampires cannot be reborn! And Fiona shouts back, she is in hell! And at this, uh, Alphonse, his eyes flick up, 
and he notices you and the Templars all turn and notice you as well and before they can do anything he says they did it they tricked the others into attacking me I was forced to kill them in self-defense but they used them to bind me here and at that he starts screaming again because the Templars start doing their magic forcing him to shut up because he is in so much pain and we go into initiative <laughs>